Hello, Sven the Slayer here at Gothic Farms, and today I'm going to be going over my uh, mouse helper macro. Uh, it'll come with three files, um, x86 version, 64-bit version, and a preference sheet. And it's being slow. There it is. So, it's fairly easy to set up. Uh, what it does is you have your mouse 3, mouse 4, and mouse 5. Uh, mouse 3 is metal, obviously. Mouse 4 is the one closest to your thumb, I think. And mouse 5 is the one further away if you have two buttons on the side. And what it does is it activates a slot in your quick bar, sends a mouse click, so it'll automatically fire that for you, and it'll wait a certain amount of time before selecting back to another slot. Now you can easily make it stay on that slot by selecting the same slot here. Uh, it also has the ability to um, hold down and fire, so it's it doesn't it's not limited to just um, single uh, use damage over time weapons such as the uh, rainbow gun and. Uh, magnet sphere which I actually have it set up for and you can save and load settings so if I change anything here just scramble these while Terraria is being slow because my machine is like eight years old at this point load settings it'll automatically put it back. Uh, you can disable each mouse individually if that mouse button is doing something else. Why isn't Terraria loaded yet? I even disabled a bunch of crap. Terraria load. Um, if you save, uh, save settings. Oh, thank you. Thanks for dist uh, distracting me. Saving the settings will write to the disk uh, in the same directory as these. So if you don't actually have preferences, let's delete this real quick. If you don't have preferences, it'll um, not found, create new file. It'll create a new one. Uh, these are actually the hard-coded defaults. So if you load without settings, it'll bring up these defaults. Uh, old machine. So, it's not specific to Terraria. It'll just run in the background, So, but it has a deactivate and activate button. So if you're not in Terraria, you can turn it off. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to make it specific to Terraria. Come on, slow machine. Oh, crap, this is like the third take and it's running even worse. So, here we go. Now, the lag's going to make it not uh, function properly. Uh, people with faster computers than mine, like everybody, uh, shouldn't have a problem at all with this macro. Um, and I don't really have a problem with it. Unless I'm like recording. Uh, I was trying to record uh, the pumpkin moon at the same time as using the macro and it it would you know the timing got off and it wouldn't always click so anyway here if I middle mouse come on middle mouse there we go yeah see it's the, the lag is causing it to not function and the funny thing is or ironic or something um, the Rada discord was actually nerfed the same day I finished this macro I've just been delaying putting it out so if you click and hold It'll uh, actually constantly send the command, which with the Rada Discord will murder you really fast. Oh, zombies. I don't like zombies. Too loud. Okay, zombies. Um, oh, why is it so loud? And that'll fire my rainbow gun, switch back to Bat Scepter, and Magnet Sphere, switch back to Bat Scepter, all on its own. I'm not pressing any keys. You just gotta trust me on that. Um, for the timing, 
it's just something you'll have to play around with. The default settings work for what I have here. You want the smallest number possible to get it to work. Faster computers will be able to work a little better. Um, not so uh, much lag. Uh, when I'm teleporting around, it would lag all the time. And like I said, with the uh, pumpkin moon, the game just like stopped. It, it was even stopping accepting uh, me pressing uh, regular keys. See, like I'm pounding one and it's barely going. Uh, final things I need to cover. I don't have a script or anything. I'm just winging this. Um, if there's enough interest, I'll support the you know, macro a little bit. Maybe add a couple features such as a timeout. So you can set a timeout for the rod of discord to not let you spam it so you can't kill yourself accidentally with it um i may add that feature and you know whatever else uh, if people got other ideas like i can actually add any any number of these uh commands and just bind them specifically to keys but you know having custom key binding opens up a whole another can of worms there i've done it before for a um uh, Magica macro, I had, you know, full custom keybinds, and it was a absolute mess. I don't know if there's a better way to do it than the method I did. I'm, you know, you know, fairly uh, new at programming anything, so I uh, hope you give it a shot. I hope you try it out. Uh, let me know how it works for you.